Hey, welcome back again, viewers and subscribers. And uh, at this moment, um, I just want to speak to you briefly on Comfrey. I've um, noticed um, from the pictures that I that I took that I'm jogging and always exploring, uh, taking pictures, and using my plant app. Um, I've got to realize that I've a fucking Comfrey. Well, I'm um, one of the species. And here it is. Right. Um, this one is tuberous comfrey. If you notice there, the the um, creamy yellow flowers there, right? Um, comfrey um, is in the Boriginaceae family. Okay, it's a flowering plant in the Boriginaceae family. It usually flowers from April to to June, right? Um, this one is indistinguishable. This one is distinguishable from the Russian comfrey, which um, has more pinkish flowers. Um, they're also hybrids. Um, there's um, the S. officinalis, Symphytum officinalis, Symphytum, yeah, the genus. Right, so Symphytum, like I said, um, is a genus of plant there in the Boriginaceae family. This is comfrey, um, otherwise known as knit bone, bone set, um, the vernacular name. Um, I've got to find out um, that it's um, from the the Greek um, symphys, which means joining together, bringing together of um, of two bones. Um, and symphys, as you know, symphys is pubis, right? Um, fibro um, cartilaginous joints, right? Um, your um, left and right pelvic bone, right? Um, it has been used um, a lot since ancient times for um, healing, for mending bones right and um also um phytochemicals um allantoin inulin right um saponins um and also um pyrolizidine alkaloids which um are bad for your liver if you've been following my video since i did them in st vincent um i spoke about pyrolizidine pyrolizidine uh, alkaloids which are bad for your liver leads to hepatotoxicity so this plant come free um, you have to be very careful in 2001 the FDA even banned it on it, um, using it internally, um, and mostly these days it's used um, topically, externally, right? And, um, gives um, great um, nitrogen um, fixation. Um, it's um, a plant um, that um, thrives a lot in a lot of gardens, beneficial to a lot of a lot of gardens, right? Like I said, there are um, lots of um, species, um, cultivars, um, even hybrids but um this one is um symphytum tuberosa right this one is tuberous um tuberous comfrey see the um, creamy yellow flowers like um like i said right yeah known um for for healing for joining bones mending mending bones right so um i'll come back and do a full full video on this one right um and um due to um it's distribution um it's not found uh, much in the south of england but it's more in scotland here where i'm at uh, at the moment in in montrose i um, actually saw it also on a um, higher elevation um plains up in usan yeah um it's also found in um the isle of of sky right um, you can find this a lot in in europe <coughs> yeah. um, also, um, it uh, can can be eaten, right? The young leaves, but um, caution is advised because, like I said, the pyrolizidine alkaloids those um, are very hepatotoxic. They can damage your your liver, right? Okay, so um, yeah, that's it. That's it for now, right? That's that's comfrey. Thanks again.